Guys, do you want to learn how to create Spring Boot project in VS Code? So this video is for you. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Guys, in this video, I'm going to show you complete setup of Spring Boot project in VS Code. So let's start the video, guys. So guys, first of all, I have installed Java in my system as well as VS Code. After that, guys, I will be opening my VS Code and in that we have to install few extension. So let me show you that. So here I have started my VS Code and here I am going to this option extension option and guys here I am searching Java extension. So here you can see we have extension pack for Java that is a product of Microsoft. Just select this one and click on install button. Guys, it is going to install total seven packs of Java. Java. so here you can see all this product will be installed so guys this is done now I'm just closing this and now I'm going to search a new extension that is spring boot extension so here guys you can see this is the extension given by VMware so spring boot extension pack again select this and hit on install button so it will install pack for spring boot projects okay guys my installation of extension is done now i will be showing you how to create project using this so first of all guys you need to go to this option explorer option and here you can see we have option create java project but i will not be taking that option we will be going to view menu and guys in view menu we will be selecting this option command palette okay so or you can press ctrl shift p also so it will take you to this command palette and here simply search spring initializer and here we are getting option create a maven project just select that after that guys you can select spring boot version so select the topmost version so that is the latest version of spring boot after that guys you need to select the project language so here i am going to select project language as java we have other option also but i am showing you for java so just select java as project language option and then guys here now it is asking group id so here you need to provide group id you can keep default one i am providing com.cs corner you can uh, take default or you can provide as per your convenience and then after that guys just hit enter and then you need to provide artifact id so here i am providing artifact id and then after that guys it is asking me jar or war what you want so i'm taking jar and here it is asking me java version so i'm having the latest version of java so i'm selecting that so guys after this you need to just search spring web here you can see it's showing me spring web option where we have option of creating restful api and which will be having tomcat spring mvc everything so i'm just selecting that so guys here hit enter to continue as soon as you hit enter it will show you this dialog box where we have to select the folder so i'm just selecting my desktop and clicking on this generate into this folder this button and you can see guys it's showing me successfully created location if you want to see this location you can just click on this open button at my left side in explorer it's showing me my project hierarchy okay so here you can see we have pom xml where you can verify your artifacts and other details java version and all that okay so i'm just closing this pom.xml and let's go to this src main and your package and here guys you can see this java file is there okay so this java file is the thing but your main java class as you can see here we have uh, public static void main method so this class is going to run okay so now we will be creating one controller class so i'm selecting this uh, package and here i'm just hitting on this plus sign and here i'm giving hello controller dot java as my file name so guys just hit enter after this and you can see the java file has been created here the class is there i'm just um, writing one annotation at the rate rest controller okay and after that guys i will be creating one method and i will be adding annotation for that so here guys i'm just uh, creating one annotation giving one annotation at the rate get mapping and in parenthesis in double quotes i'm just putting slash hello so this is the name by which you will be running your um, this file on your browser and then guys just uh, create a method so here i'm creating public string say hello method and return some message i'm giving to this method okay 
uh, so code is done everything is done now guys you can just go here play option and just click on this drop down and here we have run java as soon as you click on run java at the top you can see it is showing you your application name so just select your application name guys and guys you can see here it's asking me some permission so i'm going to allow all the permission and here on console you can see it has started spring boot and guys here you can see at the below it's showing me tomcat server started on a particular port number and here the port number is 8080 so that is the default port number for tomcat server so now let's uh, run this on browser so on browser i will simply type so here i'm opening my browser and i'm typing localhost colon 8080 and slash hello and boom guys you can see i'm getting my message welcome to cs corner so that's done guys this way you can run your spring boot project using vs code so i hope guys by following my video you are able to run your first spring boot project in vs code so guys if my video has really helped you don't forget to hit on like button if you have any query you can put in comment box or you can send me on my ig also i will surely reply to your queries and guys if you really like my video do share with your friends so that they can also be benefited with this video and very important for me guys is your subscription if you are new to my channel please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit bell icon to receive notifications from my channel guys i'm there on different social media all my social media handler is given in description box you can join me or follow me there also i'm sharing lots of pdf and notes on my telegram channel that too freely related to interview and study material you can join that and guys my um, website is also mentioned in description box you can check out for notes and everything so thank you guys for watching this video i'll see you in my next video till that bye bye take care keep watching and keep learning guys